This week on Cartridge Blowers, we like video games. I like games where a hyena mauls a Pomeranian. Cody likes motion games for babies. And Nikki and Dylan just like waiting for sweet, sweet meteor death. Also, we pay tribute to the great and powerful frozen corpse of Walt Disney. Find out how to ruin your Orlando vacation with trivia. Watch Aladdin and Jasmine fly through a literal endless diamond sky. Recoil in horror as little broom dicks make people into ghosts. And also, fucking ducktails. All this and more if you keep watching for the next hour or whatever. It's Cartridge Blowers, Episode 6. 35 cats mold me to death instantly. YNIN Podcasting, part of the EDOC Name Lock Interactive Network. Episode 6 for Thursday, October 4th, 2012. 35 cats mauled me to death instantly. Hello everybody, and welcome to Cartridge Blowers, the show where we give video games a second chance to make a first impression. You can stream, download, or find show notes, including links to all the things we talk about for this and every past and future episode of every YNIN podcast over at YNInteractive.com. That's YNInteractive.com. You can also subscribe to us on iTunes, Podcast, OneCast, OneKicker, PodKicker, all this other stuff uh, on your other devices. Also, uh, now, every episode is now on YouTube. You can now watch it in full. And, uh, in fact, if you're watching us on YouTube right now, if you click in the description and you don't want to watch any of this crap and just skip to us playing video games, you can do that. So, yeah. Um, Cocker so blowers! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Dylan's rock showing everything right now. It's it's wonderful. Yeah. Um, so yeah, also uh, you know, with me I have the head community administrator of YNIN as well as an admin over the Voice Acting Alliance, the uh, lovely Miss Nikki Wright, the uh, White Mage. Nice save. Yeah, yeah. You did a good job. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. What's up, Nikki? Not much. I am working. It's awesome. What's up? Oh, not much. That's right. Nikki is not yet off of work, so uh, this is this is her doing her thing. Her, yeah. Her big old job. But that's all right, because uh, we can we can quit distracting her for a second. And move on to our other co-host, uh, co-host of past Y and I N shows such as This Week in the Apocalypse and Terrible Awful Show, uh, Mr. Dylan Frisby. Hello, everybody. Hello, I think, Dylan. I think Matt's putting on some fuzz. I some well, <laughs> oh, or he's doing a line of crack. <laughs> <laughs> Always. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I, I thought you were gonna be decked out in goth makeup this. Uh, this you week. know, I was watching <laughs> the episode and I remembered I said that as I saw it, and um, I was like, damn it, I don't have any makeup. So, and okay. I can't use I can't use some uh, black sharpie on my eyes because I gotta go into work tomorrow and you know. Oh yeah. That's really bad for your eyes anyway. Yeah. yeah. It's uh it's not the the best of ideas. Um, but had I remembered, I would have you know. But read the shirt, Casual Friday. So. Yeah, there we go. It's it's not Friday, but that's, they don't sorry. know that. They, hey, they could thanks, be watching Cody. on a Casual Friday. They could. It's true. It comes out on Thursdays, so. You never know. On my back, buddy. In a couple of hours, it will be Friday. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, also, I'll be we'll... wearing a shirt then too, most likely. Right on. Yes. Also with us, we have uh, one of the reviewers on YNIN, as well as an all-around funny guy, Mr. Matthew Krua. Is... Hi. How's it going? <laughs> I knew it. Yeah, I knew it. Uh, I see. It. Yeah, I see I what you're why. trying to do. All I right. Know. I don't know why. Yeah. This is my new thing. Um, <laughs> you just Mario on everything all the time. I don't know who that is. You, you look you like if Mario and Hitler show. had a baby. Who, is Mario the guy who was running Italy during the Second World War? Yeah. Yes. Mario, yes. Mu Mario yes. Mussolini. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. Then I'm okay with that baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you wore cool. a red hat, plumber's outfit. It was... Huh. Your yeah. stash kind of favors right. the left side of your face a little bit. Yeah, What's up um, I, <laughs> I had a stroke. <laughs> uh, uh, specifically uh, affect mustaches. Yeah, I I didn't know that existed, but sure enough, that's what happened. Um, and, and that's just the first of many problems that I'm going to be having to deal with for the rest of my life. 
So yeah, so uh, what's what's everyone been playing this week? Anything of interest? I know Matt, you've you've been playing a few things. I have, I have stuff to talk about. I feel okay of interest. Um, two games uh, in particular that uh, one one was a surprise and one um, is not much of a surprise because we've actually talked about it on the show. Um, the one, I'll Multiple talk about times, the, the surprise first. Um, I, I tried out a demo for a game called uh, Double Dragon Neon. Um, yeah, yeah, you were you were bad mouthing that game in the new crap. If you I was because um, I hated Double Dragon as a kid. I hated all the Double Dragons. I hated like Double Dragons versus Battletoads. I hated the movie Double Dragon. That sounds really awful. It, it yeah. was. It was super bad. And um, so I was like, let's try Double Dragon Neon. Why not? Maybe they made a remake of a shit game and turned it into a good game. And um, yeah, yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> really? Yeah, Double Dragon Neon is great. Um, wow. It's it's a 2D brawler, you know, type game like Streets of Rage or something. But um, it's really a lot of it. It's made by a company called Way Forward, and uh, Way Forward did uh, like Contra Four for the DS, and they did uh, a Boy and His Blob remake for the Wii. And That's so, cool. so I, I like the style of uh, at least yeah. Boy and His Blob. Yeah, they've done some. Some you know done some remakes that have been well received, and um, they they put a lot of love into it, and Cody's an octopus, and <laughs> and with uh, like with the boy and his blob, like it was just a lot of special stuff. It's got like a you know a cartoony like a it's like it has like almost colored pencil type art style, and there was like a button that just made you hug. There, Wait, there was a what? hug button. There's and a it, hug button. Yeah, it was adorable. And in Double Dragon Neon, there's a high five button. The entire right stick is dedicated to different types of high fives. Wow. That you and your second player can do together during the middle of the game to give yourself boosts. Um, so it actually it, does something. It does, yeah. Um, and there's just a lot of humor in it, and a lot of you can tell they, they, they put a lot of effort in it. And the main draw, I feel, is the soundtrack, which um, was done by. Um, a guy who used to be part of the Overclock Remix community, and now he's a professional game music maker. And um, he's done a lot of soundtracks, but for this one, he just basically went all out, and, like, it's very, very 80s. It's, like, the most 80s, like, homage type thing I've ever heard. And it's, it's really good. And, like, some of the songs, like, if you didn't know they were from a video game, you could probably fool people into thinking that they were actual, like, hits in the 80s. Like, legitimate, like, they have lyrics and everything? Yeah, yeah, they're singers, and, yeah. All right. And they're so really catchy. Really that's, yeah, and, like, even, awesome. like, every single, like, power-up you get has its own tiny theme song, even with lyrics. It's, <laughs> wow. it, it's, it's pretty legit. It's really that's cool. That's awesome. Yeah, and, it, and it's, it's very funny, and, it, and it's fun. It's not, you know, a slow, go-around punch people game like the original Double Dragon. So, for, you know, it's, like, ten bucks, so, you know, on Xbox Live and PSN, so there's that. Um, and the other game I've been playing is Tokyo Jungle for the uh, PlayStation there 3. There it is. Yeah. There it is. We've talked about that, I, I believe, the first time was on uh, the E3 portion of Terrible Awful Show? Possibly, yeah. 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 Um, Tokyo Jungle, uh, just to go over it again, uh, humanity's dead or disappeared, and uh, all that's left is animals, and animals have taken over Tokyo. And so you get to play as whatever animal you want to play as and uh, survive as long as possible. Um, there's two modes, survival and story. I haven't touched story yet. Um, survival is the main mode. And you get to pick one of two starting animals, uh, which is a, uh, a Sika deer or a Pomeranian. And Pomeranian what? all the way. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, there, there's two different play styles. You have the uh, uh, carnivores and herbivores. And carnivores can kill other animals, and they then eat the other animal in order to gain experience points. And you can level up, and once you get to the third level, then it's time to find a mate and start a new generation. And meanwhile, time is slowly passing. Um, if you live for 15 mating, then you die, because animals no animal is beyond 15 years, apparently. Um, okay. there's, there's no tortoises in the game. Um, <laughs> oh. yeah, Man, yeah. I want to play the game as like a, a really old fucking turtle. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's a lot of fun, and there's lots of challenges to do, and 
I mean, it's fun just to go around as a tiny, you know, house pet type dog and, you know, try and kill and eat another dog. <laughs> like, I'm a Pomeranian, and I'm, like, eating beagles or cats. And so do, do you unlock other animals as you You do. Um, I just unlocked um, a common house cat. Um, and I think after house – and on on the uh, herbivore side, I just unlocked a uh, the baby chick. Um, oh, really? Yeah, uh, which he's very weak, but uh, herbivores aren't really meant for fighting anyway. They're more meant for stealth. They're kind of the harder class. Um, but um, it's – I mean, it gets kind of crazy because it's random every time. So, like, it could – like, one time I, I started as a Pomeranian and there was a hyena waiting for me. Like as soon as I spawned, <laughs> and I died instantly. It just fucking ate me. Well, um, that's unfortunate. It was horrifying. And um, then one time, okay, so so the mission was like go to like the, this area the cats have taken over and take over the area from the cats. And if I do that, <laughs> then, I'll, then I'll unlock the cat. <laughs> this is ridiculous. But so there's there's an entire mafia that right, has set right. up in this animal. So I go to I go to this area of the city that's taken over by cats. And um, and it's me. I'm, so I've got four Pomeranians because I've spawned a new generation, and so I've got me and my three brothers, and we're just going through the Cat City. And I'm like, I thought it was like try and find the boss cat and take him out. So I'm like trying to find this point on the map where it says the boss cat is, and I just I find out after a, like traversing the entirety of the map that I can't I can't get to that point. So it must have meant that I have to um, mark my territory and the uh, territory marking spots. And uh, actually, you know, take you over. Mean like, like urinate pee. on. Things? I have to pee and um, take over, take over the land. Um, no, the game is 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 you know a bit uncouth, um, especially in the mating scenes. But um, <laughs> really, there's a lot of mounting. Um, but <laughs> but so I'm like, okay, so I go I go to like uh, the first the first spot. I urinate. I'm good. And on the way to the second spot, there's like five cats in the way. I'm like, fuck. Five cats, but I got four Pomeranians. I'm going to eat all these cats. So I like take down <laughs> one cat. Boom, cat dead. Other cats are attacking me. I'm like, no, nah, no, nah, this ain't happening. Take down another cat. Boom. Then they start meowing for reinforcements. <laughs> oh, no. It's like the really? chickens in Zelda. It was. It was, exactly. <laughs> and more cats show up. Now, now there's like eight cats. And so I'm fighting them. I'm, I'm like, fuck it. I'll fight forever. I don't care. I'm a fucking Pomeranian. We've been living here for 45 years at this point. I don't even care. And and so I'm fighting these cats. Literally, like, 35 more cats show up. And so yeah. I'm like, fuck. And I start but running. Pomeranian don't care. No, it doesn't matter because they killed, like, three of my brothers, like, instantly. So oh. I've got one Pomeranian left, and I'm just trying to book it. I'm just trying to stay alive. And and I, I got cornered in the wall, and... <laughs> 30, and... 30, 35 cats mold me to death instantly. <laughs> <laughs> or, or I was playing I was playing as a deer and uh, as a deer I was going around trying to eat, eat the various plants in order to level up and not get killed by predators and uh, turn a corner ah, rhinoceros off the building. Ah, whatever. You know. <laughs> what? Yeah, there was just a random rhinoceros and it charged into me and I died instantly. Wow. <laughs> so yeah. a rhinoceros nudged you off the edge of a building. And you yeah, right, and you can play as a rhinoceros if you can traverse further enough. You can um even if you like eventually, like as you live longer and longer, the place gets even stranger if the dinosaurs start showing up. And, dinosaurs. <laughs> yes, and what? you can play as dinosaurs. And and there's animals of various sizes, like I said, from the baby chick all the way to uh, there's a giant fucking stallion uh, to hippopotamuses, um, panda bears, polar bears. Um, can and I it, be a, can I be a ninja giraffe? Uh, giraffe or DLC? Oh but, really? Uh, okay. <laughs> um, but there's lots of DLC coming too. Giraffe, uh, the Japanese salaryman, um, who is just he's just a guy in a suit who who. What, wait, really? Yeah. You could be a person? <laughs> yeah, that's the old say. I don't know who they mate with, but um but yeah, yeah. So uh, it's a dudes in a suit. <laughs> it's a it's a it's a it's a very fun game. Um it's very unique. And I mean when you die you keep your stats, so it's not like you did it for nothing. Um That's good. I mean you have to start over, but you still, you know, you've advanced your generation a bit, so they've inherited something from their parents. 
Um, okay, so you know, it's fun. It's it's fifteen bucks. Um, PlayStation Three only, but I I highly recommend it. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. That's why I can't play it. I don't yeah. own me a PlayStation Three. I don't own one either. I just been breaking into people's houses. Uh, yeah. so it's, it's cost me like seventy five dollars at this point. But, <laughs> you know, right on. Yeah. Has anyone else played anything of interest? Um, no. Nikki and I started Final Fantasy fourteen. Nice. Yeah. Uh, how are you guys liking it so far? It's not bad. Yeah, that's not reassuring. <laughs> I'm used it. to something very different, that's all. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. So h- half of you enjoy it, half of you. I don't not enjoy it. I enjoy it. It's just different. <laughs> okay. It's a, lot, it's a lot to get used to. It's, the controls are, are much different than what I was expecting, and I'm looking forward to when the comet hits the Earth and everything <laughs> is redone. <laughs> Oh, the 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 cataclysm of uh, of Final Fantasy fourteen. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right on. Um. Well, cool. Uh, I haven't. Really, I played Disney Universe. Uh, and that game kind of sucked. <laughs> I'm so, sorry. It's a, yeah. Well, um, I was at Redbox. I'm like, eh, we're playing Disney games this week at Cartridge Blowers. Why don't I? I give this thing a shot, see if it's any good. Yeah. No, it sucks. I can't really talk about it. It wasn't? So. No. It wasn't good? Shocker. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No. I I got to run around in a chizzier cat costume beating up robots. I guess weird. That was, that was um, boring. That's weird. Yeah. It doesn't sound like a very good game. No. It, no, you don't even get to play as the characters. You play as people dressed up as the characters, as if they're walking around as mascots within the Disney universe. Ambie'd love it. Am- I'm sure it is right up Ambie's out. <laughs> this whole episode is probably right up Ambie's Yeah. Out. Hi, Ambie. Yeah. I'm sure you're watching. Hello. She is. Um, Dylan and I went to the Final Fantasy XI 10th anniversary concert last weekend. Right on. Yeah, we that? had... Awesome. It, was, it was awesome. Um, nice. the music was great, and they had, like, a local girl sing one of the songs, which was fantastic, and it made me cry a little, and <laughs> the lights came up after that song ended, and Dylan was like, oh, you're crying. It's like, I'm not crying, you're crying. <laughs> <laughs> and she, she really did say that. I really did say that. <laughs> um, and then we had, we had these VIP passes, so we got to, like, you know, meet the conductor and the lady who did the piano and one of the guys responsible for like 90 percent of the music and the guy translating you know he's working pretty hard so i'm like hey man thanks for all the hard work you're doing translating is tough business and he's like yeah i'm actually like the like producer of the art in the game or something too and i'm like oh well wow <laughs> i'm gonna that stand also over sounds here like then. hard business yeah and i was like that's hard I feel like a jackass, but, you know, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I guess being an artist is hard, too. God. Yeah. Translating, though. Language is where it's at, because, you know. That makes him <laughs> the big bucks. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, does anybody have anything else they want to talk about before we move on? No. Nope. Next episode, we'll be talking about Resident Evil 6, so. Yeah, that'll be fun. Yeah. Um, I guess uh, only other thing, uh, the Syphil and Ollie game review shows are uh, out. There's three episodes now. They're awesome. They're hilarious. They're just like the old show. They're so, press and fresh. It's and, awesome. And, uh, I'm bringing Matt back. Matt, so. Matt, I'm not switching over to Matt's scrunched up face. Uh, <laughs> Matt doesn't like them. I don't dislike him. I didn't say that. You didn't, you didn't, you didn't let me talk. Didn't talk okay. Either. All I right. dislike him. Okay. I think, I think it's bad that they're exactly the same. Oh, okay. I think I I think they're relying too much on the exact same stuff, and I but can, I think I they're doing a very good that. job. I mean, the third like, episode had like a rehash of the panda song. I mean, I loved it, yeah. but like, Precious Roy showed up. I'm like, it's like oh, it's so random. It's like, well, yeah. I was yeah. I, that I, made I, the thirteen year old in me very happy. I, right, I, I <laughs> was, right, right. I mean, and I thought it was. It was cool in a way that I was like, I get it because you know I liked the show as a kid. Yeah. But it was I don't know I I guess I'm I'm in a very critical mode these past few months, and since I'm doing nothing but just analyzing novels and stuff, and so 
analyzing even something as small as a YouTube video, I, I, I see like, what could you do better? What could you do better? And and I, I think they could do better. I think it's still funny though. I think it's funny. It's certainly worth a watch. I laughed a lot. I I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed them. Um and uh, Matt uh Krakow, uh, Yeah, yeah, he's still, he is totally working. Totally still involved. Yeah. yeah. Um, but okay, that's enough of of the introduction stuff. Um, let's go ahead and move into uh, the new crap. Okay. Okay, so um, first up, we have uh, one thing we're talking about coming out October 4th, and that's uh, Cave Story for the 3DS. Um, so if you're a fan of Cave Story, which I know quite a few people are, uh, 3DS is now your your opportunity to play it it's, on the go. It's really good. Uh, Cave Story is really good. Um, the only thing I would warn against is uh, you can also get it for PC. Yeah. For free? Yeah. Well, so, yeah. I mean, if 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 you want three D uh, updated three D graphics, you know, and, I guess. and you want to play it with, I, mean, I think they redid the music. Um, they, and the music, the soundtrack's really cool. So if you want to play it with the updated music, but if you want to listen to the music, you can probably just go to YouTube. So, right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's true. Uh, but yes, yeah, so there, that's that's it for October fourth. Uh, Cave story for the three DS. Uh, October seventh. Um, lots of Pokemon stuff. Uh, we have Pokemon White version two and Pokemon Black version two for the Nintendo DS. Same game. It's it's uh yeah essentially it's the the same game, um only it takes place apparently two years later. Well, I meant I meant new... White and Black version two will be the same game except with. With you different, know, yeah. Different Pokemon. Yeah. So, um, I can't believe they're still expecting this racket to work. Because... Yeah, it, and it will. It is, yeah. yeah. Nikki's not wrong. Yeah. Uh, it still sells like crazy. They're, they're, they have a new gimmick, though, uh, for the, the version 2 of White and Black. And that's uh, another game that is a 3DS exclusive called Pokemon Dream Radar. And this game is an augmented reality game that uses the 3DS's camera uh, and other hardware to allow for uh, you to capture and find Pokemon in the real world. Uh, so it's kind of like augmented reality Pokemon Snap. But way more embarrassing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what you doing? Catching them all. <laughs> Leave me alone. Oh. There's a there's a Pikachu on the desk and I have to shoot him for some oh, let me, reason. Let me see that. Oh, that's that's cute. That's cute. Get back to work. Or you're fired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you you catch them in this augmented reality thing and then transfer them into Pokemon White or Black version two. Um, apparently, it also will work with with previous games as well. I don't know how, but whatever. Um, so there's that. Then uh, next up, we have October 9th, which is uh, Code of Princess, which is an <laughs> RPG brawler that comes out for the 3DS. Um, it's called Code of Princess. <laughs> That's is, a dumb name. It is the dumbest name. Um, How Japanese can you get? Uh, well, pretty Japanese, apparently. Um mm. Yeah, and then moving on, this is for Dylan. Uh, Fable: The Journey, the new Fable game coming out. Uh -huh. um, only... He sounds so enthralled. Well, you won't be able I... to play it because it's connect. Nope. Exactly. <laughs> I knew that already. Yeah, it's uh, basically just a Xbox Connect Fable is it, game. Is it like a shooter though? Kinda. Yeah, except it takes place in the Fable universe. It's a a rail shooter RPG, which it's gonna suck. Yeah, probably. Yeah, we we have several weird Connect games coming up. Uh, next, XCOM: Enemy Unknown comes out for the Xbox 360 and PC. Um, then we have Dishonored, which actually looked pretty cool, coming out for the Xbox 360 what is and that? PS3 and PSC. Okay, so Dishonored, PSC. PSC. Uh, <laughs> the the game is a first person. Kind of a, it looks like an assassin type game where you have yeah. like special powers. That does look cool. And it has like creative kills. One, the the thing I thought that that looked the most interesting is this guy shoots. It showed this guy shooting a bullet at you 
which is probably up here somewhere right now. Shooting a bullet, bullet at you, you slow down time, you possess the guy who just shot the bullet at you, then get that guy to walk in front of his own bullet and then speed time back up and then he dies. You talk, you, you, you got him to shoot himself. Um, well, that seems really roundabout. I, why not just possess him before he shoots you? You well, you could. This was just uh, showing off the creative kill scenario. Got you. Um, they also have uh, su- the ability to summon rats, and then you can possess them. They showed them <laughs> summoning a. Are swarm you Dracula? Of- yes. No. Okay. No. Uh, it showed them summoning a swarm of rats, putting a bomb on a rat, possessing the rat, and then walking the rat into a, a ton of guards, and then blowing the rat up, and then they killed a bunch of things. So walking bomb. <laughs> Um, and then that's just, it was just showing you a bunch of things you could do. There's a lot of stuff. I couldn't actually find out information on the story of the game. Ah, who gives a shit? You can possess rats. Yeah. <laughs> that's exactly. a system seller. <laughs> I, I, I want to play it. I'll probably rent it if, uh... Mom, if... Mom, I have to have this game for Christmas. I can possess rats. <laughs> just like the Bible tells me not to. <laughs> <laughs> well... If you have certain parents, that might be a selling point. Um, moving on. Dragon Ball Z for Connect, uh, <laughs> which is essentially the Marvel Connect game we talked about two weeks ago uh, with Dragon Ball Z characters. Yeah. Um, so it won't be very good. R- right. Uh, also, in the exact same vein, we have Harry Potter for Connect. Um, which is just like the Marvel game, but with a Harry Potter character. Kind of. It's a little that bit sounds different. sounds so cool. It, it's, it's a little bit different. Um, out of the three, this one actually has other elements to it. There is a story mode. Uh, there's uh, You can play Quidditch if you're into that kind of thing. Um, there is a rail shooter mode. And then there's also where you, you just fight other people waving your arms about. I remember that the, the fighting tournament in Order of the Phoenix, actually. Yeah, yeah, where, it's where Guile came across Snape, and they... Yeah, uh, and he was like, Snape, go home and be a family man, and Snape was like, okay. <laughs> Snape was called Charlie. And Hermione was the strongest woman in the world. Hmm. We're done. That movie sounds incredible. <laughs> uh, next up, we have Just Dance Four for the Connect Move We and uh, that's it. <laughs> Ladies uh, and gentlemen, Connect is relevant on this show only. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, pretty much nothing cool has come out for Connect, and that's too bad because I like Connect. Although, actually, the game I liked the most for Connect was a uh, golf game, and I don't like golf games. Uh, but I thought the the Connect portion of Tiger Woods, uh, PGA Tour thirteen or something was was actually pretty fun. Um, you're just you're just slowly advancing in age and golf just like seeps into your veins. You have no choice. Maybe that's maybe that's what happens. I'm yeah. not sure. Uh, moving on. Uh, Spy Hunter is getting released again for the uh, Vita this time. And it's why just a vehicular combat thing. What? Yeah, uh, Spy Hunter a game that has Was that on PS2? It was on PS2 and it was an original arcade game. It was shit. It's always been bad. I don't know why. They I tried to make a that. movie out of it with The Rock. Did they really? Yeah. Yeah. Well, like, it's a, you know, the original game was kind of cool for its time. I mean, you're a car shooting other cars, and then you drive into the back of a truck and become a stronger car. It's... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how, really very, how very Voltron. Yeah. yeah. But I don't know. I, it's the, the PS2 one sucked. So. Yeah. And then last on the new crap uh, docket, we have for October 10th, uh, Worms Revolution coming out for the Xbox 360 and PC. So uh, if you're a fan of the Worms franchise that never dies... Um, yeah, man. Then... I mean, and, and, and if you've played any of like the past, like I don't know, 11 iterations of the series... They haven't yeah. changed much. No, it's so... the exact same. Except now the worms have a different. Like they don't all look the same anymore. Uh, that's about oh, it. finally. Oh, I can make my fucking avatar into a worm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Matt is dead. I was seizing. Sorry. It's okay. And that's it. That's uh, that's all the stuff that I have down for the the new crap. New crap um, indeed. New crap indeed. Um, so that's it. 
That said, we can move into playing some video games. You guys Let's do it. All right. All right. So this week, uh, well, last game, we randomly generated the theme for this week, and it's Disney games. So uh, our our resident Aww. Disney fan and employee will, will be loving that. Um, so yeah, Disney has made a lot of good games and a lot of shit games, so we'll see You'll how... see all of those this week on Cartridge Blowers. <laughs> yeah. Dylan is our laugh track now. Um, okay. I love laugh tracks. All right. <laughs> so first up, we have my game, um, which is the Magic Adventures in the Magic Kingdom for the original Nintendo. Tell us I, about this fucking bullshit. Man. I owned this game as a kid. Oh, I'm sorry. I I got bad. this for Christmas one year, and I don't oh, fucking God. know why. Because your parents and, hated you. Apparently. Yeah, it's it it's a bad game. It's okay. As a kid, I really wanted to play this game. Ever since I saw the chick that played Stephanie Tanner on some talk show talking about how that was the game she played, I'm like, you can go into the Magic Kingdom whenever you want to. That's awesome. It's not awesome. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I finally gotten to do this thing, and uh, basically, you walk around the Magic Kingdom. Oh, you're not telling us. Okay. Just, all right, all right. Let's, uh, let's let's go ahead and start it. Uh, let's Perfect let's count us in, Matt. All right, and three, two, one. Uh... All right. So, um, this really shitty music that has absolutely nothing to do with uh, with the Magic Kingdom. So, are you Goofy? No, you're not. You have so nothing I... to do with Goofy. Goofy is just there. Hey, Goofy, it's time for the big parade! Where's the golden key to the game? Yeah, all you do is oh, play... Oh, gosh, I'm sorry, Mickey. You must have left it in the castle. <laughs> <laughs> all right! <laughs> oh. Okay, so there's six silver keys. Yeah, you have, to, you have to get the six keys. Why would you entrust something as important as all of the keys to let you have access to the castle to the dumbest character ever? You don't! Goofy really has nothing to do with it. You play a kid in a cowboy outfit, uh, which I guess Dude, is that's not a kid in the cowboy outfit. That's the man in the yellow hat. Get it right, <laughs> That is awesome. Right. So, uh, there's that. Um, there's all those shops you can't go into. Yeah. So I play a kid I named Walt. Um, and you basically walk around... For a while, anyway, uh, answering trivia questions that are hard as shit. I don't understand how they thought any kid was going to be able to answer any. You're Mickey's friend. Oh, hold on. What character is known as most big in Sweden? Um, what the fuck? Uh, Goofy. Goofy. Is that true? I don't fucking know. He's the only one who might be a pig to somebody. Maybe. <laughs> Pinocchio's. Oh, that's uh, that's Jiminy Cricket. Come on. Okay, there are some he that got are correct. One. You must be Walt, all right? Yeah. <laughs> Fucking Disney. <laughs> this game is just uh, dumb. <laughs> so I've decided to go to what I assume was the test track. Panhandle Pete stole the silver key and got it back. Mickey looks like he's on meth. <laughs> yeah. And they don't really tell you exactly how to control anything in this game. <laughs> hey, hey, Cody, all the cars went. Yeah, it's <laughs> green light, dude. Yeah, well, I, shut hey, up. Spy Hunter. <laughs> it's essentially Spy Hunter without guns. <laughs> I feel so bad for you. All right, are they shooting those stars, or do you have to pick them up? Oh, you're dead. No, I died. Yeah. I'm sorry, you'll have to try again. So I'm like, well, fuck this game, go into another fucking attraction. Uh... So, all right, I'm trying to find people to talk to, because, or actually, I'm trying to find Space Mountain, um, but there's no map. I just have to keep walking around and assume. Don't that... you fucking know what the Magic Kingdom looks like? Come on. Yeah, no, this is a, this is, however, an accurate representation <laughs> of the Magic it's Kingdom. It's to scale too. It, yeah. it is to scale. Um, 
these are the only colors in the happiest place on earth. There's the Jamba Juice Shack. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. Don't get there's... to buy any Jamba Juice though. There's uh, there's where all the Pez are littered in the front yard. <laughs> so right. uh, my 199 ghosts are in this house, though. I was looking for number 1,000. Be careful, they might catch you. So the haunted oh, mansion. Oh man, this is what the haunted mansion looks like. Like it exactly. Is. Remember, remember what the haunted mansion looks like. This is it. This is it. Uh, ghouls and ghosts. It's basically just ghouls and ghosts. Um. You almost, out so of, oh. you almost out of throwing things, and you're out. Yeah, that's when I realized I ran out of throwing things. Who fucking and... thought that you should have a limit on things you can throw? Yeah, yeah. I didn't. I didn't expect to have a limit on things I could throw. Disney World. <laughs> so now it's time to go to so many weapons. Disney World. Pirates of the Caribbean. Okay, so you have to rescue six people and then light a signal fire. Yes. That's that's I, great. I, Encourage kids to play with fire. <laughs> yeah, and spoiler alert, I get. I totally get that part. <laughs> yeah, I I don't die within the next couple seconds. I promise. I might also be a chronic liar. Yeah, get that star. Yeah, you're the fucking best kid ever. Mickey Mouse is gonna just take you out back and give you all the hugs. Yeah, why so is fuck he that. throwing chocolate milk? <laughs> <laughs> oh, chocolate milk is good. Why would you get rid of that? Oh, you you're done. You died. I, so I, I decided to continue because I haven't uh, I haven't you're gone to the one for punishment. Yet. Yes. I was hoping that would be the end. Yeah. Yeah, so was I. I've so never I'm been like... to Disney World, and now I i don't think I will have to <laughs> Now go. you actively hate Disney World. This is not an accurate I can live it in my living room. Uh-oh. I'll, I'll tell you what, if you know the answer. What's the name of Mickey's dog? Oh. Yeah, that one was at least easy. Ambie uh -huh. is rolling over in her <laughs> office chair right now. I'm curious <laughs> if Ambie can even answer a lot of these. There's a key in front of the Enchanted Castle. Come on, you know where that is. Go to the castle. Nope. There's a silver key on star F. If you pilot and I navigate, I'm sure we can make it. If I tell you where to fly. Push the controls in that direction, okay? And push the A or B button for this sounds um, what? Oh, in that starboard. direction. That's not ambiguous. Whoa, this is really complicated. You're getting hit. With what? What hit what hit you? I hit random invisible walls. <laughs> <laughs> he said go he said press right. And you, right. So now now I kinda of figure out what I'm doing. Okay, okay, you got oh, this. Oh, I can kind of see it now, okay. Oh, you got it, you killed him. Yep. You're a murderer. I think this yeah. actually may be the best I do in any of the the levels. You get the silver key? Uh, no. I don't need oh. it. I don't you just it. ran into a planet. Yeah. And you're yeah. still he going. just like destroyed everything on that planet, good job. Yeah. I'm oh, and like... he died for no reason again. Right. So wait, you ran into that planet and like Mickey did not give you any directions like to move. No. He is the worst navigator. He's he sucks. Oh oh, your wall. People say you know everything. Why? What yes. what age is Leaving Beauty prick her finger? <laughs> she was like seventeen, because otherwise that would be a creepy story. <laughs> How many Mickey yeah, Mouse cartoons are there? Fuck you! <laughs> Exactly! <laughs> Suck my dick, that many. Fuck you <laughs> is the oh, correct number. A hundred something, apparently. Yeah, if I remember correctly, you have to like answer all the trivia questions in order to even get in the castle. Yeah, you do. That's crazy. And that and that, and that castle has like the final key. And once you get the final key, you get to go to the last level. I did not beat this game because I did not like it. No, I. If you had played long enough to beat it, I would have been concerned. Panel beat the gold silver key. Well, there you go. Waste your time again. Yep. And then you got off to a much better start. <laughs> They're so <much> better. <laughs> Those guys are way better at race car driving. It's better, but it's not good. <laughs> And I don't. I thought I was driving in a shadow. Apparently, I drove into some black void, and, and, uh, and you drowned. Yeah. <laughs> so the end. That is that is it for the Magic uh, Kingdom Adventures or Adventures in some sh fuck shit. I don't. All right, care. kids, don't buy it. So yeah, no, uh, kids, this uh, brand new game out for purchase <laughs> this holiday season. 
Uh, sucks. Don't play it ever. Burn the copies that you can manage to find. It's... I don't blame Hannah Montana for uh, leaving Disney. No, no it's... Uh... <laughs> Miley Cyrus, yeah. We got a fucking Hannah Montana joke in. That's awesome. Like, I, feel, I feel like if I went to the Magic Kingdom, I could have a way more interesting adventure in the Magic Kingdom just walking the fuck around. Absolutely. I, I have had a more interesting adventure. Like, no one would ask me around. trivia questions, for one thing, that I don't want to fucking answer. Oh, I'll send them a letter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, five-year-old kid, how many fucking Disney Mickey Mouse cartoons were there? Who's Mickey Mouse? <laughs> <laughs> Is he on SpongeBob? I, I, so... <laughs> I did go back in later to... Uh, to answer uh, a few more questions after I was done recording. And one of them was like, what was the, the first appearance of Mickey Mouse? Is it not Steamboat Willie? Because that's what I guessed, and I got it wrong. It's what? Steamboat Willie. It's totally Steamboat Willie. Exactly. This fucking game lies. <laughs> I, hmm. Wasn't it made by Capcom, too? Uh, I don't think so. I'm and, pretty sure Magic I mean, Kingdom was made by been. Capcom, which is crazy, because Capcom was making all the good Disney games. I, I love Capcom. I Whatever. All right, oh, but enough on. enough about my shit games. Uh, let's let's get on to uh, someone else's game. Dylan's uh, up next. Dylan is I'm up, up next. next. I played Aladdin. Woo, I've actually right. played this before. That game was a lot of fun. What it system, was. What system did you play it for? Uh, the Super Nintendo. Um, yeah. But I, I remember when I was a kid, it was a whole lot more funner. But then as I was playing it this time, it just consisted of one thing. Did was... you play the Sega version as a kid? No, I played the Super Nintendo. Okay. Maybe you just they're... had lower expectations as a kid. Yeah, possibly. Because the, oh, yeah. the, Sega, the Sega one and the Super Nintendo one are different games. And the Sega one's a lot better, but the Super Nintendo one isn't bad. I didn't think. It's not bad. It just, it's just one thing. Jumping. Okay. So, okay. Here we go. So, uh, let's Hold get into it. One jump ahead of the <laughs> Three, <laughs> two, one. <laughs> All right. So this is Capcom. Don't forget, push to duck. Oh man. Or unmute. Yeah, I'm playing Street Fighter. Fun. Yeah. Oh, I so skipped that. we skipped the story. Who yes. fucking knows the story of Aladdin? What happens in Aladdin? I so don't. I remember a password from this game. What? Really? What's the password. Genie Jafar Aladdin Abu. It would take you to the like whole new world level or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Aladdin's oh, I, rem I remember people inside uh, pots walking around. I, re I remember being able to bounce off the poles, and I thought that was cool. Boo, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, you kicked that guy to death. This game looks good for uh, for an early Super Nintendo yeah, That's pretty game. good animation on Aladdin's, like, run. Yeah. Though, boy, did he... This is like Prince of Persia, and that kind of sucks. No, it reminded me of Assassin's Creed. Yeah. Aladdin and has... Dead. Hey, man, dude yeah. can really... There we go, bouncing off the poles. Boing. Uh... I forget what you're supposed to do with... Oh, you got it, okay. So that's what you're supposed to do, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what are the Beatles for? Um, for a bonus at the point. end of the stage. Wheel of Fortune bonus. Man, These Nils are the worst, well. like. Yeah, archers ever. Archers, They're just like. Yeah. Uh -uh. They shoot I barely the arrow have at like strength. two feet. Yeah. I like how Abu follows you throughout the entire level. But it doesn't do anything. Yeah. <clears throat> there we go. The end of the level Super Nintendo bonus wheel. Mm -hmm. Great time! Even that finger is well animated. It is. Yeah. Actually, it's really well animated. Uh. I forget what happens if you land on the genie. Probably a continue or something. If I can remember correctly. No, the stars. Uh, I forget. Oh boy. Oh. The stars a continue. Oh okay. He wants to hug you. Oh. Yeah, I just started skipping ahead. I thought this right. part was cool. Oh man, I loved doing that as a kid, because that, you know, sheets yeah. totally have that kind of pliability. <laughs> I, yeah. I decided to skip ahead so that I could show you more of the game. Okay. Cool. Yeah. 
Yeah, fuck Don't you. Don't waste food. Eat an apple. You're poor. And that was that. I like that Abu <laughs> looks looks <laughs> terrified not at Aladdin being dead, but at, at the uh, the guard. Now he's the prince, and he's like, "Hey, marry me." Oh, and... the whole new world level. This yes. is the, the level Nikki remembers the password Did for. Did you use the code? No way, I beat this game. Heck yeah. Wow, really? Alright. Sure. Sure. <laughs> what, what passwords? What? Passwords are for chumps. I thought about, after this entire stage, I just thought about Cody and Matt's duet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we don't you need can go, You can go into the city? Yeah. Holy shit, this level is huge, man. It's pretty much just like a huge bonus level where you collect jewels. That's not as romantic as it was in the movie. Yeah. No. <laughs> so, far more filled with floating nightmare yeah. jewels. Jewels are not lighter far than air Aladdin. Way up here, we can build our small fortune. This is this is why Agrabah doesn't have to worry too much about theft. All of their riches <laughs> are kept in the sky. <laughs> the carpet was hard to drive, though. Well, it's a carpet. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> There's not a steering wheel. This level's uh, actually kind of boring. <laughs> yep. Yeah, happens. it's basically have fun, collect all the stuff. No, well, the whole time that. I was thinking about how am I going to put up in the corner Matt and Cody <laughs> singing this song. <laughs> Maybe I'll I wasn't the even, after the I wasn't game. even paying attention to what I was doing, really. I was just like, how am I going to do that? <laughs> what a wasted opportunity. <laughs> There's a part of me that's glad you never figured it out. <laughs> yeah. And that was that. That's Bonus clear! Especially me, because I was Jasmine. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, anyways, okay. for me, that game was extremely boring. So. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Well, Not especially the whole new world. I mean, it, it is it is geared towards younger audiences. Um, I loved it as a kid. Younger mid nineties audiences. It's definitely um, not the worst game we've seen so far. No, no. no. Uh, I so far I'm winning the shit game award, um, but that's okay. Uh, let's see who's up next. All right, Matt, tell us about your game. Um, I played two games. Did um, you? I did. Um, the first game I I played two games for the Sega Genesis, and uh, the first game I played uh, Disney's Fantasia for the Sega Genesis. I'm curious um, how this is a game. Man, tell me about it. They uh, <laughs> decided to make a game based on the movie Fantasia. I don't know if you've seen it, but uh, it's got a pretty deep and intricate plot. Um, so many <laughs> characters that matter. Um, no, nothing happens in that movie. It's just a bunch of music with like animation that goes to it. Yeah. And I remember watching that as a kid and getting bored. Yeah, yeah, I did like Fantasia as a kid. As yeah, an adult, I, I can appreciate it. I can appreciate like what it was. Absolutely. The time, but like, I still think it's kind of boring. Yeah. Um, and Agreed. People, and people hate that. Agreed. <laughs> And, no, no, no. Read random soundboard. Um, so the first game I played was Disney Fantasia. I'll talk about the second game when I uh, when we get to it. Okay. Um, but yeah, so so let's go. Here ahead. we go. Count this us in. Three, two, one. Blah. Sega. Oh yeah, the music is the worst music ever. Why is it fugue in D minor? Because <laughs> that's from Fantasia. Was it? Yeah, this was made in 1991. Um, I, this is the this is the title menu. Uh, it throws me right, <laughs> into, the, it throws me right into the options. Um, and so. Are dreams like your lives? Those are my lives. I figured that out after a while. And I thought this was cool. This is like the opening to the level. I thought that was a neat idea. You know, you got the orchestra. And that's like as far as my impress impression goes. Okay. Um, so it's it's a platformer. It is exactly what you said it was probably going to be. Yeah. Um, what what is this for? What system? Uh, Genesis. Man, it's awesome looking though. <laughs> Graphically, uh, it's not bad. Yeah, it's so it's like, for it's really for 1991. Um, but boy, this game is just. Uh, 
I like that they're trying to create this like linear perspective. Yeah. But man. It's just failing. Well, they, they keep like putting stuff in my way, so I That's can't see exactly what I'm doing. It. It's 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 a cool uh, effect, but they're not doing a good job at executing. It. Oh, I died. I'm a ghost. So if you, <laughs> um, if you notice in the controls at the beginning, there's three buttons uh, on the Genesis controller. There's A, B, C. Uh, C jumps, A shoots small magic, and B shoots big magic. Um, I never got to shoot big magic. I don't know how to do that. Um, and the bottom left, there's the wizard hats, um, which is my small magic. And uh, so now I got one. I got one small magic. So that's since I got that book. Uh, otherwise I have no weapons and no way to hurt anything in the entire game. What are those weird looking things those are... on the ground? I don't fucking know. But I shot a magic at it, it didn't even kill that! They look like mushrooms. Uh, that's yeah. nicer than what I was gonna say. Yeah, they're little dicks. So... <laughs> <laughs> so there's like a cauldron, and literally I can't kill anything. I, 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 it's just basically fucking don't get hit, the game. And, okay, I'm like, okay, book, give me more magic. I got three more shots. So check this out. I, I, I'm like, okay, how am I going to get... I think I got to get to that door or something. It took three shots to just kill that one broom. It's a rubber band. I'm dead. I'm dead. This, this game sucks. This game is... This is the first fucking, like, room. This isn't even the level. This is just the first room of the first level. There's just too much stuff. There's too much going on. I can't kill anything. Everything can kill me. I've got four hits, and there's a million enemies. And, like, what kid who would get this would want to fucking see Fantasia? Yeah. <laughs> Like, they would see this, and they would be like, there's like a star going over the right, I could never catch it. I don't know what it's for, I don't know what it does. I just, I, I'm trying to chase it down, but there's just like a million enemies on screen. There are! And I can't do anything! Rubber band. I, Rubber band I, wait, magic. Mi Mickey's magic derives from the hat. Nah, it's from the books that fly by. So I'm like, okay, cool, I got it. I made it to the second room. I'm good. Okay. What? Cool! You beat a level, and now, <laughs> now you're immediately dead. Oh, no. I, I touched the ground and died. Death in Disneyland. Um, I wanted to quit, but I accidentally continued. Uh, so I was like, alright, fine, fuck it, let's do it. Let's, let's play again. Um, I bounced off the book somehow, which normally I go through and collect. I bounced off it and got hit, just to start the level off right. Um, <laughs> I'm, de I'm dead in seconds. You... Wow. It's because the fucking screen was blocked for you. You didn't <laughs> I, know I there was an enemy there. This is an impressively horrible achievement in okay. shit. If Final <laughs> Fantasy VI is a uh, perfect level design, I think this may be the worst. And, and and I want you to look at like the stuff that's in the foreground. What the fuck's with all the chains and like the dangling hooks? Where am I? You this heard is not the sorcerer's town. Yeah, this is like some sort of weird sex dungeon. I don't want to be here. We're in the happiest sex dungeon on earth. <laughs> I, yeah, look at all the little dicks running around. Yeah, there's a bunch of little dicks, and there's like all hopped uh, up on crack cocaine. You know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I, I made it. I made it to the next room. I got it. I got it. I got okay, it. Okay, don't touch the ground again. The, nope. the ground is hot lava. Uh, I'm alive. Nope. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> you just said to land and you died. I think. I... Oh, what the hell? I still, I still have lives, so I'm fine. I'm trying to land on the lily pad, but it's like so small, it's impossible. Luckily, there's more dicks. <laughs> I think that should be the title. Look, now, there's more dicks. Luckily, I. <laughs> Ghost Mickey is boring. So I, I fucking quit. And, oh, uh, here, here, here's your game over screen. Mickey's ghost returns to his body. What? So I, I fucking pulled that cartridge out and threw hope. it against the wall. It is, it is the most dead of cartridges. We immediately we're not, we're not blowing that cartridge. This next no. thing, two years later, I decided, fuck Mickey, he's an idiot. Mickey's the worst character. I think we can all agree Mickey's the worst fucking character. Sure, why game. not? Now we're going straight to Goofy's Hysterical History Tour. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. god. Yes, yes. Late one late one night at Ludwig von Schrake's museum. Goofy's like, Goofy. Oh, well I guess I'll go into this exhibit. And uh, I guess this is what the fucking exhibit looks like. 
So you goofy. Wow, this is the most expensive museum ever. He walks like someone I work with. That's weird. <laughs> That's he has like problems. Um, but this game is better, at the very least, because Goofy has like that extendo hand. And Why I think does he have cool. an extendo hand? Yeah, I don't know. I remember that from all of the Disney cartoons. He has an extendo. That would, that would be handy against all the little dicks. Why are you? Hey, look, there's little dicks. There's, there's an offensive man. racist caricature. Get off my plane. And I, I don't, I don't really know why Goofy is here. I don't know why he has an extendo hand. Um, I. I don't really know why I'm doing what any of this. What does that have to do with history? History, yeah. Oh, well, this is what this is what it was like when dinosaurs were around. I don't know why I have to collect balloons. Um, I don't know why there's giant snails. And yeah, that dude is totally a racist caricature. It's really is messed he? up. I don't know why my power, my life meter is peanuts. Why are there like? I mean, I don't know. Those are huge snails. It's it's. it's I, at first, I thought they were sea snails. Snail cat. <laughs> It's, a, it's, it's, it's pre prehistory, so back then snails were like super huge. That's true. Whoa! Um, I think I'm. I think the uh, recording like makes stuff disappear for some reason. Rice had attack. No, it, it doesn't look like that in the actual game. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I get on this enter, moth. Enter Super Godzilla. And I made it over to this place. <laughs> I wish Super Godzilla might be more fun. Um, walking simulator is better than, <laughs> than what, what, what's about to start happening. But, um, uh, so I'm like, cool, balloons, I guess I want these. I don't know. Um, yeah, Goofy's brave. How are you learning anything? This has nothing to do with history. I'm learning to look before I leap, because, uh, <laughs> I just fucking died and started the level I like how I like how the game just like, yeah, let's forget that happened. <laughs> yes! I started the entire level over. Um, and, you know, that's what happens. This is, uh, this is Goofy's whole history tour. Goofy, you know, Goofy's not so smart, anyway. Um... So maybe this is just history as Goofy sees it. Right, right. God. What um, are you jumping on, still? Oh, it's the snail. It's the recording just didn't pick it up. Oh, okay. But... <laughs> I like how you reach. No! <laughs> <laughs> so, like, on those last blocks, like, sometimes, and, like, even on that cloud right there, Sometimes when you jump on things, you bounce automatically, and sometimes you have to press jump to bounce. But it's like arbitrary. That's it, stupid. It, it, like I, I didn't bounce off that guy, but like that block I bounced off of. When you stepped on him, he sounded like a wet fart. It's like <laughs> this. Uh, he was. This game has nothing to do with history, Disney, or Goofy, other than the fact that Goofy is in it. Well, well. What do you want? It, it's teaching me that balloons. History. We're in history in the forest. Yeah. Balloons come from the forest. <laughs> where, where the where the rice pickers are at. <laughs> and like, what kind of creature is the guy in the in the rice hat? I, I an Asian man. He's a racist Asian caricature. He's a racist like... mushroom. I guess he's like a toadstool person, because those are real things that happen. So I'm bouncing. Nope. I can't. I can't. <laughs> I like how you try every time. So I died. Give up. Give up. But here's where this game gets awesome. Here's this game's redeeming quality. Turn up the sound. Oh, man. This is the most chill game over screen in history. Like they can play this in like a like a jazz club or something. <laughs> Why is it so soft? I don't know. They don't want you to feel bad about the game over. No, Goofy's just you know they want to waving between his legs. Although I kind of wish they he weren't thrusting his it. hips and then looking at you through his crotch. They want to encourage the game over. But yeah, that's uh that's both both ends of the Sega Disney game spectrum. Um, yeah. Yeah, they and they're they're both shit. Yeah. Right. Um. I don't know what I learned from either of those, aside from uh, I don't like them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, Matt. Uh, we are now done with that. Let's move on to Nikki's game. Oh man, I'm gonna get mad in a second, aren't I? Maybe. Um, <laughs> I played Ducktales and. Um... Is oh, this gonna be like Nikki sucks at Mega Man because it's we gonna really be. liked Mega Man? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, I don't know. Um, 
it would have been a lot easier if I had a controller, that's for sure. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because um, you got to press, like, down the entire time. You have yeah. to press and hold down the entire time. Yeah. Um, And so when you're doing this, it's it's just frustrating. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So, yeah, DuckTales, woo. I'm sure, woo, uh, we all know what... It's three ducks who are descendants of the really rich duck, and they go on wacky adventures. And... Very first game I ever beat. <laughs> it's a wonderful game. It's fantastic, and Nikki's about to ruin it for everybody. So let's go. All right, <laughs> count us in, Matt. Three, two, one. Ooh. Here we go again. Race car lasers. <laughs> Dylan is jamming. <laughs> wow. Ooh, I lost my camera. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I, I picked the moon level because we talked about the moon level. Yep. It's got cool music. So, you figured it out. You got the pogo stick. Okay, Woo! cool. And random duck robots. He's got he's got the, the magic invincibility. Oh, is that what that is? Okay. Yeah. The guy pooped an ice cream. Yeah, I noticed they tended to, you know, poop ice cream and like diamond ice cream. That's awesome. Diamond ice cream is I the best. I love I love the moon. So you climb the spinal cord. Yeah. <laughs> The alien's like, uh huh, I'm walking, whatever. Now, why do you have to push down the whole time? To do because the otherwise, down. you don't pogo stick. And that's that's really your only attack in this game. Yeah, if you don't pogo stick, you don't kill anything. This is DuckTales? Yep. Yeah. Huh. This is the moon level. Oh, for some reason, I was thinking of Darkwing Duck. Oh, man, that, man oh, I should have played that shit. Have you played Dark it before? Yeah, I'm not very good. Yeah, but it's fucking Darkwing Duck. I love that show. Yeah, Launchpad, what's up? I forget what Launchpad does. You wanna look back to Duckbird? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh. Sumo Baby takes you away. Launchpad and I just the Quack to takes you away. He takes you from the moon to the Earth in this thing that doesn't <laughs> protect him from the atmosphere at all. <laughs> so that was oh, the moon level. I think you just exited early. Yeah, you didn't actually beat it. No, you didn't beat it. Yeah, there's a oh, boss. I didn't know. Is there a boss? I, there I is. Like, okay, why am I leaving? Okay, back at the city select. I guess I'm done. <laughs> awesome. There you go. Boom. Yeah, get that treasure. That's the only attack you have is the pogo. Yes. Yeah, or to hit and like knock rocks into people. Man, the Amazon music is cool too. The music in this game is great. Oh. Boom, yeah. There's totally something up there. There there is. Yeah. Find oh, secrets. Nice. Mario ripoff. That's alright. <laughs> Sometimes, like, even though I was still holding it down, it would just stop my momentum, which I thought was weird. Really? Yeah. I mean, that's a problem with emulation. Oh, Maybe. I hated the spiders. Yeah, I didn't. I don't like spiders on the whole, so I was like, uh, I'm getting out of here. They look like <laughs> bee spiders. I'm, I'm allergic to, to bees, and, and I hate spiders, so I'm not afraid. I just hate things that want to hurt me. <laughs> and that's understandable. You're invincible. Just walk on the spikes. Oh, can oh. you do that? That's awesome. Oh, yeah. I... Had I known that, I would have just come right across. You have $176,000. When will your greed be fulfilled, Scrooge? What's it gonna take? To sate your lust for gold. A lot. <laughs> First, I must kill every animal in the Amazon rainforest. <laughs> you gotta be mine, and I must kill you. That bee pooped a diamond. Dude, that would be good. This game is Mega Man-esque, man. It is. Well, Capcom made it. What do you want? Yeah. 
That's, I mean, that's awesome. I think I would still enjoy this game. Those plants look like buttholes. <laughs> they do! <laughs> Open bunch a butthole of, HQ. Bunch of leather Cheerios. <laughs> Gross! That's the way to put it. Watch out! Oh, ah! Uh. Alright. You're gonna get mad at me. Oh, uh, <laughs> no, no, that's a hard jump. That <laughs> is. Okay. Mm. And then you're gonna really get mad at me because all of a sudden I just start sucking at the game. So <laughs> time to walk into enemies. Pretty much. I've been watching before. Oh. Okay. I kid. I kid. It just because the opportunity was there. <laughs> we'll be right. Those bees sound like you're trying to connect a dial-up internet. <laughs> Which didn't even exist at this time. I know. Dial-up bees. Talk about a horrible sound, man. Bee. What was up with that? Ah, bee! Uh, I think I totally jumped on that personally, but whatever. No, I agree. You should you should have whacked those uh, tree trunks. Cause, like stuff will pop out of them sometimes. Oh really? Yeah. There's secrets all over this game. That's kind of one of the things about it is that you just gotta try and look everywhere for everything. It's a lot about exploration, and yeah. uh, I mean eventually you have to kill a boss. Like Dracula. I think Dracula is like the final boss of the game. <laughs> really? That's for, awesome. For some reason. Yeah. yeah. So that I was DuckTales. Fighting... I don't think you did that bad. No. Thank you. That was not a Mega Man level of just, you know, no horror. Though that Nick... level was hard. <laughs> it was. Nick Nikki sucks at Mega Man should still have been a segment. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we'll find a way to work it back in. But I, DuckTales, I think even like watching Nikki play, it looked fun still. Yeah. Well, I, just... I had a fun time playing. Yeah. You know, you, you would just, have been a lot easier. Bounce around, before. collect stuff. What do you want? You know? Yeah. <laughs> right on. Yeah. All right. Um, so, so who who won the shitty game award? You did. You did. Even yeah, a contest. I, I, I waited. Yeah. Uh, well, you know what? Fantasia was pretty bad. Yeah. Maybe we Your tied. Has questions that kids wouldn't have to answer. Yeah, you did have to answer trivia questions. And, and you, I, yours was really hard, too. Yeah, it and was. I looked it up, and it was totally Steamboat Willie. So... See? Fuck that <laughs> game. God damn it. <laughs> now, I'm, now it's just like, I'm just mad because I got one right, and it gave me the incorrect answer. Anyway, so I won the <laughs> shitty game award, or is it a tie? You I won. take it. You win. You Enjoy. I couldn't stand it. I win all the time. I always play the shitty games. That's all right. That's all right. Um, okay. So that said, before we end the show, let's look forward at next week. Matt, what do we got? I've got you. Um, well, I'm going to put some uh, numbers into the little uh, computer orama here, which is a thing that I just invented. Uh, it's from the 80s. Uh, <laughs> you just does. invented the 80s thing? I, I went back in time and invented it. I don't, I don't know what you want from me. Ready? Um, Drum right. roll. <laughs> <laughs> all right. What we're looking at this next week. Um, I hope you have. Man, I, I don't know how to how to how to even talk this one up. Um, I don't even know what games we're gonna play. But uh, I don't, when did why did we come up with this topic? I don't know. It was chosen. We're Playing racist game? No! <laughs> what? Why? What is wrong with us? <laughs> why, did, why did we come up with this theme? I don't know. I think I to... already played that one. <laughs> yeah. I In think the Matt first episode too. that we didn't show. We have to find four racist games between us. Can and... we do that? All right, yes, all right, we Matt. Can. Matt. Come up with a backup theme just in case we can't. <laughs> okay, if we can't, if we can't come up with them, we have to play board games slash game shows. All right, that's that's fine. Yeah. All right, that's, we can do that. But uh, mostly our... racist games. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Oh. Wow, I have a feeling we just threw that in there, and for some reason that came up. 
Most Wait, racist. I think hey. one of us might have been joking. <laughs> At least we're not on TNC Surf Design Appreciation Week. <laughs> I was kind of hoping we would. Well, never mind. All right. Top all right. eleven most races. Okay. Anyway. Anyway, we'll get to that uh, in the post show. All right, everybody. Until uh, two weeks from now, I'm I'm Cody Coleman, and with me, as always, Nikki Wright, Matt Crua, and Dylan Frisbee. Until then, don't keep on blowing. Do that either. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs>